So as we all know, Colby Covington has officially called out Ian Gary, and Ian Gary has been butting back, and it looks like this is a fight that could potentially happen, and it just makes me worry because, you know, it's Colby Covington. We all know how a lot of his callouts end up going, plus he made some very, very ridiculous <laughs> ideals that Ian Gary needs to come and, and go about, like, if he wants to even fight Colby, so I don't even think it's going to happen, but this is certainly a possibility, and I'm going to give you a reason why, and why Colby Covington is actually really smart for this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's talk about Colby Covington, man. So, Colby is in such a weird place right now, because after his performance with Leon Edwards, the entire MMA community has turned on him. Nobody likes Colby Covington anymore. And what everybody always had to talk about with Colby Covington was, hey, no matter what he says, the guy brings it. And after the performance that he put on against Leon Edwards, it was so ridiculous for all the crap that he talked that people are just off the train. You've seen Colby make videos. You've seen him. He doesn't even make my bookie videos anymore, or at least not often. At least I don't see him all that much. He used to make them all the time. He used to constantly have all these girls over and, you know, you get the point. Colby going, you know, what's up, nerds and virgins? But it just, you watch these things. First of all, they are not nearly the same in the level that they're coming out. And they don't hit the same. They don't hit the same at all since Colby Covington had that sour performance. Because Colby, no matter what, would always bring it into the octagon. He would always show up to fight. He would always be a tough out for no matter who is coming up against him. So, Colby Covington's in a weird spot. He can't take on a top contender right now. That is completely out of the question. Maybe before Leon Edwards, he could still fight like a Chimaev, assuming he would ever go down to welterweight. Like that was in talks. People would want to see that. I mean, I'm not saying the UFC was talking about that, but go to fight Shavkat Rachmanov, but that's completely out of the question now. So the first thing he did was call out Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Very easy fight, right? Very easy fight. Met with backlash again. And it's, it's met with backlash by Colby Covington fans. I'm a Colby Covington fan. I'm like, Colby, man, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous calling out Wonderboy. You need to fight an up-and-coming contender at this point because he doesn't deserve a good fight. He doesn't. But what actually makes sense in the rankings, and here's why Colby is very smart. He called out Ian Gary. The whole world hates Colby Covington right now. Everybody has turned against him. I haven't turned against him. I still find him funny. <laughs> but I'm still, I, I, I look at him not with the same, like, he doesn't have his aura anymore. You get what I'm saying? I don't look at him the same. I don't look at his calls the same. I don't look at his videos the same. I just don't. So what does Colby Covington do? He calls out arguably the most hated fighter in the entire organization. He decides to call out Ian Gary, the guy who is hated more than Colby Covington. As soon as people talk about Ian Gary, they'll forget everything that they cared about with Colby Covington. They forget about his performance. Everybody in that arena will be cheering for Colby Covington because Ian Gary is just that unlikable. Take a look at the comments on... Literally anything Colby Covington has posted lately talking about Ian Gary. That one big video, typically when Colby posted something after that Leon Edwards fight, it would be met with like, oh my god, you lost. Colby, give it up. Doesn't feel the same. It was people actually like, oh, come on, Colby, that's enough. But now they're like, oh yeah, go get that cocky Ian Gary. And I don't even know if I should say that on YouTube. But regardless, <laughs> yo, go get that C-U-C-K. Oh my god, Ian Gary needs to get smashed. And people are so quick to talk about Ian Gary because, again... He's an easy target. He's unlikable. He turned off his Instagram comments. His wife has slept with everybody in the entire world. You know what I mean? You, you get what I'm saying. And then Ian Gary just sits there and watches. That is such easy target. And that is an Ian Gary sitting here just talking about how the fans are just haters. <laughs> you know? But people don't like this stuff. People don't like this lifestyle. People don't like Ian Gary in general. And just the way he behaves. The way he literally copies Conor McGregor. He's literally sitting there and word for word saying the same things that McGregor does. You sit down, shut up, you'll do what you're told, you know? It's crazy. So this is why Colby Covington's a genius. Pick a fight with the one guy who everybody will be cheering for you against. Everybody's excited to see. If they make this fight, Colby versus Ian Gary, that's so hype. Plus, it's a respectable fight for Colby Covington to make, and it makes sense in the rankings. That's why I have a little bit of hope that Colby Covington is going to take this fight, because First of all, what my initial thoughts were, oh, Layla, you have to come over, get on your knees, and beg. <laughs> like, okay, well, Colby doesn't really want this fight, does he? But now there's still more talks about it. They're still barking back and forth. Ian Gary's playing it along, and I think Ian Gary sees Colby Covington as an easy fight. Plus, I would imagine that the dislike's there enough that he really would want to take on Colby Covington. But for the matchup while I'm talking about it, 
if the Colby that fought Leon Edwards shows up, he's done. He's done. I really wonder, and I don't think he was injured. I think he was making that up, but it's so weird to see Colby perform the way he did. Is it his age? He must, It must be his age. He hasn't taken a ton of damage over in his career, but he's almost, is he what, 37 years old now almost? That's really old for the welterweight division and the pace that Colby Covington puts on in his fights. I've always been of the opinion that Colby Covington lets nerves get to him. Sometimes when you see him walk out, he's like, <sighs> and it's so evident. And you can see it just in his in, in, in the way he looks. The It's in his eyes. It's written all over him. And it's almost like, I don't remember who said this, but somebody a long time ago said in that second Usman fight, it took him to get knocked down and see that he could survive that to really switch it on and start co coming the way Colby Covington does. I think all of that pressure really does get to him. And I think that perhaps did play a performance in the Leon Edwards belt with Donald Trump being there with all the fans looking forward to Colby Covington. He was representing America. A lot of people want him to beat Leon Edwards. It was his last title opportunity ever because even if he beats Ian Gary here, he's not getting another title fight. He's just not. <laughs> He'll need to go on some insane streak, and that's not feasible. He's not going to do it. He's not going to be able to take on the top contenders. Bilal might be a good matchup, but I'm even like myself, I'm done talking about Bilal in the sense where I'm done picking against him to lose because... For like the last four fights that Bilal Muhammad has had, I think I'm like, ah, I think he's gonna he's gonna lose this one. And then he comes in and wins. So I'm done picking against Bilal Muhammad. And typically, if I look at this fight, I'm like, yeah, Colby Covington can beat Bilal Muhammad, but <laughs> the dude just keeps winning. So <laughs> it's a very, very interesting fight. I'm excited for if this is the fight to make, Colby will not only gain a lot of respect from the MMA fans because he's finally taking on a top contender, he's finally doing what's proper. But he will have the fans on his side, and that's what Colby needs. Colby needs the fans back on his side and back interested in him. And this is the only fight that Colby can take where this will happen. And again, it's a respectable, tough belt. No matter what happens, I'm excited for this. I hope that this is a fight that UFC actually ends up working on, and I can't wait to see it, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you so much for watching. Check out this video on screen right now, breaking down the entire UFC 300 card very early, and it's very fun. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Take care.